presence is imminent. We need our strength to survive. I train to be stronger, faster, and better. with a mission to protect women and girls from violence, rape, and sexual assault. This is Survival Arts. The number of sexual assaults rape being reported 464 times in the United States. Every 73 seconds, an American is sexually assaulted. Other survivors who empathized with my situation helped me to feel like I wasn't alone and gave me sort of entry into my healing journey. I'm Kristen Lago in Long Beach, where I'll tell you more about this survival arts program that's combining an ancient form of martial arts to combat a modern day issue. in Mindanao and I came here like 11 years ago I live in Los Angeles for me as a woman as a woman of color and also immigrant I feel like I like who knows if someone's gonna attack me or you know while I'm walking down the street and I just don't know how to defend myself this training has for sure made me more aware of what my body can do to protect myself being Filipino I feel like it uh... It's like I feel like my blood has done this before, you know? I was really interested in tapping into my own ancestry, my own heritage. I grew up um, slightly separated from Filipino culture, and so this was a beautiful way to like tap into this embodied knowledge and um, reconnect with my own ancestral roots. From the beginning of like just Broken One being really awkward, now everything feels more fluid and there's more of a flow to it. You're able to heal and you're able to hurt. Like you don't have to just use a blade or you don't have to use any weapon. You can just use your hands as well. Lots of different techniques that you get to learn because you can go closer or you can go farther. And I would tell people because it's a great way to learn how to defend yourself but also be able to socialize and have fun. Training so far has been really empowering. It's shown me that I am powerful to, to stand against a man or anyone that wants to come at me. 
My name is Vienna and I am nine years old. I get to protect my family and one day I could train them and they could protect themselves. I feel in my power in a way that I haven't, I've been craving and working towards, but I feel like from today I have skills that I can practice on my own and in community. So I'm really grateful. Thank y'all. Just knowing, like promoting like your voice, you know, like your voice is a weapon also. My name is Danielle Hernandez. I am Ojibwe from the Red Lake Nation in northern Minnesota. I had had a few scary interactions with strangers on the street and my friend told me about survival arts. Come learn how to defend yourself. I came and wasn't sure what what to expect really and I found a really like warm, welcoming place where I could embrace like my own sense of empowerment, how to defend myself, just how to how to help myself feel safe when I'm walking around in public. I should be allowed to feel safe in public. It shouldn't be like I'm scared to go for a walk in the park, I'm scared to go for a jog in the park. I should be able to take care of myself. And through survival arts I've been able to reclaim like my power. I find that to be a really healing space for me. I can come and feel vulnerable. I can let go of like past trauma. I can work through my current traumas. Um, intergenerational trauma is something that's weighed down on me and felt really heavy and it's gone into my body and created like injuries that have just made me feel really really stuck and so having a space that's women of color only is really empowering it helps get the pain out it helps me uh, center and ground myself in like my history uh, survival arts helps me connect with other people and grow stronger with them and build sisterhood and that's just become really really meaningful to me <laughs> All right, thank you all so much for training. Thank you to our young warriors. Today was a great training. Um, we did a lot of good stuff, and we hope to continue um, in 2020. Okay, we're gonna salute together. Ready to go again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are waiting. <laughs>